Tarquin and Lucretia by Giuseppe Maria Crespi, a painting of passion and violence. By Giuseppe Maria Crespi, c. 1695-1700. Tarquin and Lucretia, housed at the West Building, Main Floor, Gallery 50 of the National Gallery of Art, Washington, D.C., depicts a dramatic scene of Tarquin, the son of the last Roman king, and Lucretia, a virtuous Roman matron, based on the ancient legend of their encounter. The painting, signed and dated by the artist, is a remarkable example of his dynamic and expressive style, and his ability to portray the emotions and interactions of the historical characters. The painting shows Tarquin, wearing a silver breastplate over a white and gold tunic, with a lion's face on the sleeve facing us, and a thin, gold crown on his chestnut brown hair. He grips Lucretia's shoulder and pushes her back onto a canopy bed, raising his right index finger to his lips as he thrusts his right leg between her legs. Lucretia, wearing a slate blue gown that is torn at the neckline, exposing part of her left breast, and a blonde hair that is pulled back behind her neck, struggles against him, twisting her torso away from him and bracing her left hand against the bed. She stretches her other arm up to his forehead, her fingers grasping at his hair and coronet. Her face and honey-brown eyes turn up, and her pale pink lips are parted. A partly unsheathed sword and a white flower with torn petals lie on the floor near their sandaled feet symbolizing the violence and the loss of purity that will ensue. The scene is framed by a brick archway and a twisting, copper-brown curtain that pulls around a gilded, carved horse that decorates the corner of the bedstead. The background is dark and obscure, creating a contrast between the light and the shadow that accentuates the drama and the tension of the moment. The painting is a masterpiece of color harmony, as Crespi concentrated the two major colors in two distinct areas, a warm gold for Tarquin's tunic and cape, and a cool blue for Lucretia's gown. He then used the intensity of the white flower and the silver breastplate to unify the whole. The contrast between the warm and cool tones creates a visual and psychological effect, as the gold tunic and cape suggest Tarquin's power and arrogance, while the blue gown implies Lucretia's innocence and dignity. The painting is also a demonstration of light and shadow, as Crespi illuminates the subject with a natural and radiant light that highlights their features and creates a soft, hazy look. The light also reflects off the sword, the flower, the tip of the nose, the lips, and the horse's manet, adding sparkle and liveliness to the composition. The painting is seen as one of Crespi's historical scenes, an Italian term that refers to paintings of stories or events from ancient or modern history usually featuring famous or heroic figures. Crespi was influenced by his fellow Bolognese painters Cassino and Domenicino, as well as by Flemish and French artists. He was known for his use of light and color, his attention to detail, and his dramatic rendering of people and animals. He was also a versatile and prolific painter, who worked in various genres and media. The painting may also have a symbolic meaning. As the story of Tarquin and Lucretia is one of the most famous examples of the theme of rape and revenge in classical history. According to the legend, Tarquin, son of the last Roman king, forced Lucretia to submit to his advances by threatening to kill her and, then, to make it seem that she had been caught in adultery. Afterward, Lucretia told her family of this outrage and took her own life. Her family avenged her honor by overthrowing the tyrannical king, an act which led to the establishment of the Roman Republic. The painting captures the moment before the rape, where Tarquin tries to silence Lucretia while she resists him with all her strength.